than 100 students, teachers and staff rallied right outside the school to let everyone know how important Bishop Byrne is to the community. Do you want us to stay your faculty? Yes. Yes. Do you want your school to stay open? Yes. Passionate, bright and spiritual. These high school kids love Bishop Byrne. My friends are here. The faculty is great. They, they actually care about the students here. We really just want to save our school. All of us, we're a tight-knit family, and the things that we do here, they help us progress in life. This is our home. Last week, we just want answers. Parents protested to keep the doors open. Now it's the students' turn. Bishop Byrne has been in the Whitehaven community for nearly 50 years. We have been the light. And now they want to burn the light out. The most confusing thing I think about that the diocese has said is that they call this a merger, but our kids aren't guaranteed any placement in any Catholic school. The Red Knights wore their school colors proudly and prayed. They prayed at their last homecoming game too, all in hopes of changing the diocese's decision to close the school. It's a real shame that they haven't they haven't taken care of us at all. They haven't said where we're all going. They haven't even, you know, attempted to, to provide for us. And that's really uncatholic. Their mission, keep producing more bright red nights for another 50 years and beyond. Teachers say they will continue to protest and even write letters to the diocese until their voices are heard. In Whitehaven, Jackie Orozco, ABC 24 News.